In this video, I'll show you how to make an isometric section view like the one shown here. I'm going to start by deleting this view out so I can get a, just a clean screen. So I've opened up an IDW and what I want to do is place a base view and so I want to go in and select a, an assembly drawing that I have. I'm going to pick open on that. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is not the view I want. I actually want the end view of this so I'm going to go over and select on the left side. I also want to make sure that the shaded option is on and I'm going to pick and place this view and press escape. So there's my front view of the object. The next thing I want to do is use the section tool. So I'm going to select selection or section rather and uh, I'm going to move in here and then I have to select the view that I want to do the section on. I'm going to locate the center of this but I'm not going to pick on it and then I'm going to move straight out horizontally and you can see I'm getting a little dotted line there if I zoom in so that lets me know I'm perfectly horizontal so I'm going to pick right there as my first pick I'm going to come in here and when I find the midpoint or the center point of that shaft I'm going to pick again and then I'm going to move straight up now I want to be careful on both of those that I'm seeing a glyph that shows me that uh, I'm actually going vertically and not off by a, a degree or two. So you can see the little glyph next to my cursor that's showing me that that's vertical. I'm going to pick again right there. Then I'm going to right click the mouse and pick continue. Next I'm going to move to the right because I want to place this view to the right of my front view. I'm going to pick and at that point I'm going to scroll a little bit and you can see that I have a front view <coughs> pardon me, and I have a section view, a half section view uh, of the right side view. Next I'm going to che check the uh, or pick the projected option. I'm going to pick this view and I'm going to move to the up and to the left which is going to create a isometric view. And I'm going to pick, right click, create. Alright so there's my isometric view. Now the view as it appears now is every part has been cut in half all right, or been cut in this one and so what I want to do is uh, go through and selectively choose which parts that I want to be sectioned in this view. So in order to do that I'm going to have to come into the parent view and choose what's participating in the section view because if for example this shaft right here if it's not sectioned here it won't be sectioned up here in this view because this view is dependent on what I'm seeing here. So what I need to do is come in here and find this view in my browser and so it's this one right here so I'm going to expand on that by picking on the little plus sign there. So the views that I have are the parts that are in this are all located here. So let's start with this shaft. If I go over to the shaft in the browser and I right click and I choose section participation and then select none, it removes that in the parent view which also removes it in the section view. Next I'm going to take the piston which is right here and right click on it. I'm going to go to section participation and choose none. So now I can see the full piston. I'm going to rubber ring number one, right click, go to section participation and choose none. Rubber ring number two, right click, section participation and choose none. Uh, I have a spacer and a sleeve in here. I'm going to go to the sleeve. I'm going to go to section participation and choose none. So there's the sleeve. And I have a rubber spacer right in here. It's this part right there. I'm going to right click on it, go to section participation and choose none. Now at that point I have the isometric view that I want for this drawing. What I don't want though is to show these two views in my IDW because I'm going to use this as, as like an explode or as a assembly view. So in order to remove these views I can't delete them because this view is dependent on them but what I can do is I can go onto this view and right click and suppress the view and then I can go to the parent view here and right click and suppress it as well. Now I'm able to move this view wherever I want it to be on my sheet. So those are the steps involved with creating a, an isometric section view where you have some parts that are not participating in the section.